In this session of triangles, we shall look at some more concepts of triangles like similar triangles, congruent triangles and right angle triangles. Let's start with similar triangles. Now there are two triangles which are not same as in which are not equal to each other in terms of shape, in terms of size, but they might be similar. How do we say they are similar? If they look alike but are different in size. So one might be slightly smaller, the other might be slightly bigger, but the ratio of their sides or their angles are similar. The angles have to be same and the sides of the ratios can be similar. So let's look at how they are. There is something called an AAA similarity wherein we know that the three angles of the first triangle are exactly equal to the three corresponding angles of the second triangle. Now that is where it is called AAA angle 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 similarity. There is something called SSS similarity which is side side and side. Now here the first side of the first triangle is similar or rather in the same ratio to the first side of the second triangle as the second side has the ratio of the first and the second and the third side has the ratio of first and second. So AB upon PQ is equal to AC upon PR is equal to BC upon QR. So this will give us SSS similarity. Let's come to SAS similarity, side angle side. Now side AB upon PQ is equal to AC upon PR but the third side I don't know. But the including side which means that AB and AC the including angle is what angle A. Similarly PQ and PR the including angle is what P. So angle A is equal to angle P and the sides AB upon PQ is equal to AC upon PR. So that gives me SAS side and side and the angle including that side. So that comes in between that is why it is called SAS. Let's look at RHS similarity. RHS right angled hypotenuse and side. So we know that both the triangles are right angle triangles and their hypotenuses are in the same ratio along with one of the sides in the same ratio. So hypotenuse 1 upon hypotenuse 2 is equal to S1 upon S2. So that will give us RHS similarity. Let's look at congruency. What is congruency? Congruency is nothing but equal to where the first side of the first triangle is equal to the second side of the second triangle and so on. How is congruency measured or identified? Let's look at it. SAS congruency. Now this was there in similarity also side angle and side but here the sides have to be equal. So first side of the first triangle is equal to the first side of the second triangle. Second side of the first triangle is equal to the second side of the second triangle and the including angles are also equal. That is SAS congruency. Let's look at ASA wherein two angles are equal of both the triangles and the side between the two angles. So if we say AB and PQ so AB has AB side in it and PQ has PQ side in it. Angle B is equal to angle Q and angle A is equal to angle P. So including side is AB and PQ. So those are equal. Third one is SSS which is side side side. So the first side is equal to the first side of second, second side and third side so on and so forth. So that is SSS congruency. There is also called RHS congruency. RHS is what? Right angle, hypotenuse and side. So right angle, both the triangles are right angle triangle. The hypotenuses are also equal and one of the sides are also equal. So that is RHS congruency. Let's have a look at one problem. The areas of two similar triangles are 49 centimeter square and 64 centimeter square respectively. Find the ratio of the corresponding sides. Now the two triangles are similar. So their angle, their sides are in the same ratio. So side 1 upon side 2 is equal to side 1 upon side 2 of the second triangle. If we compare the areas, area is what? Half into base into height. So half into base into height of first one upon the half into base into height of the second one should give us the ratios. Now base and base are in the ratio, H and H are also in the ratio. If they are similar, the ratio is same. So can I say that B1 square upon B2 square is equal to 49 upon 64? So B1 upon B2 is what? 7 upon 8. So the ratio of the sides is nothing but 7 upon 8. Let's have a look at another problem. The perpendicular drop from the midpoint of one of the legs of a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse divides the hypotenuse into two segments of lengths 3 cm and 5 cm. Find the lengths of the legs of the bigger triangle. Now triangle APM, now M is the midpoint of AB, MP is the perpendicular which is dividing AC into 3 cm and 5 cm and triangle ABC is the other right angle triangle. Now if you look closely angle A is common between the two and angle P is 90 degrees, angle B is also 90 degrees. So going by AAA similarity, both the triangles are similar, triangle APM and triangle ABC. 
So, let us assume that AB is equal to C, the AB the entire length is equal to C, BC is A and AC is 8 centimeter because it is 3 centimeter and 5 centimeter. So, it is 8 centimeter in all. So, AP upon AB is equal to AM upon MC going by similarity rule. So, 3 upon C is nothing but half C upon 8. If you calculate the same, C is nothing but 4 root 3 centimeters. Going by Pythagoras, we can find out A is equal to 4 centimeters. Hence, we get the answer. 4 root 3 centimeters and 4 centimeters. Let us have a look at another problem. A common side of two similar isosceles triangles is 12 centimeter long. The base of the smaller side is 9 centimeter. Find the perimeter of the bigger triangle. Let us have a look at the diagram. Now, ABC is the first triangle with AB equal to AC and BCD is the second triangle with BC equal to BD. So, BC equal to BD which is 12 centimeter and CD is 9 centimeter. Now, looking at both the triangles in some similarity, AB should be corresponding to BD and AC should be corresponding to BC. Similarly, BC should be corresponding to CD. Now, BC upon CD is what? 4 upon 3. So, AB upon BD or AC upon BC should also be 4 upon 3. So, that will give me what? 16 upon 12. So, AC is 16, AB is 16, BC is 12. So, the perimeter is what? 44 centimeters. In a right angle triangle, we come across something called the Pythagoras theorem. What is the Pythagoras theorem? It is nothing but the sum of the squares of the three sides is detailed. So, the hypotenuse which is the largest side, the square of that should be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So, in this figure, AC square should be equal to AB square plus BC square. Now, let us look at something more peculiar. There is something called a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now, in this case, one of the angles is 30, one is 60 and one is 90 degree. 90 degree is the right angle triangle. Now, what will be the ratio of the three sides? Now, ratio in terms of the side which is opposite to 30, the side which is opposite to 60 and the side which is opposite to 90. So, th opposite 30 is 1, opposite 60 is root 3 and opposite 90 is 2. So, that will be the ratio of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let us have a look at a 45, 45, 90. Now, the moment you look at 45, 45 which means that both of them will be same. So, 1 is to 1. And what about it? 90, it will be root 2. So, 1 is to 1 is to root 2. That will be the ratio of the three sides. Now, let us look at something peculiar about the right angle triangles. There is something called a 3, 4, 5 triangle. What is the 3, 4, 5? Now, 3 square plus 4 square equal to 5 square. So, that makes a right angle triangle. There are a lot of such triplets. Now, 3, 4, 5 is one of them. So, 6, 8, 10 will also be because they are multiples. Similarly, 9, 12 and 15. So, these are all standard ones. Let us look at something more. So, 5, 12, 13 will make up one triangle, 7, 24, 25 will make up, so on and so forth. There are many more pairs which can be found out. Some of them are enumerated here. Let us have a look at a problem. The hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is 25 centimeter. The other two sides are such that one is 5 centimeter longer than the other. Find their length. Now, in the simplest way, a square plus b square equal to hypotenuse square. So, if one of the sides is more than the other by 5 centimeters, so it will be a square plus a plus 5 whole square equal to 25 square. Solving, we can get that a, b, c is nothing but 15, 20, 25. But we can go back to the 3, 4, 5 principle also. Now, 3, 4, 5 will give us what? 15, 20, 25. So, if 25 is the hypotenuse, we can go back and find the triplets. So, this is how we can also find it. Let us have a look at another problem. Triangle ABC is right angled at A and AD is the altitude to BC. Given that if AB is 8 cm and AC is 15 cm, find BC and altitude AD. Also, if M is the midpoint of BC, find AM. Now, let us have a look at the triangle. Triangle ABC, right angled at A. AB is what? 8, AC is 15. So, if we calculate, we get BC is what? 8 square plus 15 square, which is 17 square. So, 17 is the third side. Now, if I look at the right angle, which is originally there, so, the area is what? Half into 8 into 15, which should be equal to the area when we take BC as the base. So, half into 17 into the height, which is altitude, should give us half into 8 into 15, which will give us AD as what? 120 upon 17. Now, let us have a look at the principle. Now, if AM is the median to the hypotenuse, then it divides the hypotenuse into opposite sides, which are equal. So, it is what? 17 divided by 2, 8 and a half, 8 and a half. That also makes the median which is AM equal to them. So, here AM will also become 8.5. This is how we can find out AM as well. The simple principles of triangles 
similarity, congruency and right and triangle will help us in solving a lot of problems. Let's take up more in the next session.